Ben, you're not that stupid. There's no way he's that stupid. I mean, I think he, he is very stupid, but he's just like purposely being like he's maliciously weaponizing stupidity. Not his stupidity, but the stupidity of his fucking audience. I'm saying it. But before we do that, let's take a look at Ben Shabibo. I'm going to go pee real quick, though, while this starts playing. Uh, ben Shabibo, he knows he can't, but he did it anyway. Let's get to the constitutionality of this thing, because the constitutionality of this thing is completely specious. There is Ooh! Ooh, let's talk about the Constitution. Shut up, Ben. People are getting 10 grand back. People are getting 10 grand back. Good luck. Good luck selling that to the American people, dude. Get out of here. Ah, what about the constitutionality? Shut up, nerd. Shut up, you little nerd bitch. You dumb nerd bitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get to the constitutionality of the argument. Shut up, shut up, shut up. The Constitution can suck me from the back, okay? And the framers, too. I'll go piss on their graves. Shut up! There's no basis upon which Joe Biden has the power to do this. None. Nerd. I know we left the Constitution behind a long time ago in this country. I know that we now think that the president basically has the power to declare anything. And during COVID, it got even worse. During COVID, it was like, hey, some old people are going to die of a disease. This means you don't have to pay your rent. You're a 20-year-old who's working a gaming job. You don't have to pay your rent anymore for like two years because the CDC says so. I understand that we all went nuts in 2020, 2021. But even Nancy Pelosi last year was saying Joe Biden did not have the singular power to cancel student debt. This is last year. Shades of Barack Obama saying that he didn't have the power to simply declare that illegal immigrants would never be deported. And then he just did it. Anytime, just as Democrats frequently say, this crazy left-wing radical fringe idea will never become mainstream. And then 10 years later, they're doing it. Whenever Democrats say we don't have the power to do X, within about 18 months, they will be doing it. So here's Nancy Pelosi one year ago declaring Joe Biden did not have the power to simply cancel student debt. People think that the president of the United States has the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone. He can delay. But he does not have that power. That, would, that has to be an act of Congress. Not everybody realizes that. But the president can only postpone, delay, but not forgive. OK, but Joe Biden just did that, right? He said he's going to forget. So what is the legal basis for this? This is totally crazy. And I think Joe Biden knows this is crazy. And so it leads me to believe that as a legal strategy. Bro, this is this is ridiculous. I mean, he has every power to do this. The, 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 the Department of Education can do this and did this. Uh, did it. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Ben Shapiro agreeing with Nancy Pelosi on this? Because, you know, we, we watched the clip yesterday. It's the it's the old clip, right? But he does not have that power. That would that has to be an act of Congress. Not yeah, there you go. Doesn't matter, dude. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben, you and Nancy can take the L's together, okay? Everybody realizes that. But the president can only postpone, delay, but not forgive. OK, but Joe Biden just did that, right? He said he's going to forget. So what is the legal basis for this? This is totally crazy. Yeah, he didn't even do it by executive order. He did it through a law passed by Congress that gives the Department of Education the power to do this. And I think Joe Biden knows this is crazy. And so it leads me to believe that as a legal strategy, what Joe Biden is doing here is he's campaigning against the Supreme Court, because my guess is that this is going to be appealed by somebody. And right? they have to find somebody with standing. Yeah, they're 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 literally trying to get this to the Supreme Court. And uh, and and hope hope that the Supreme Court could like maybe stop this from happening. It's hard to find somebody with standing in this particular case. because You have to show that you were damaged and you as a general taxpayer can't show standing. But assuming that there is some sort of lawsuit, say, by Congress saying that Joe Biden exceeded his powers here. And it goes to the Supreme Court. This is probably not going to fall under the political question doctrine. Probably this is going to fall under the delegated powers, right? Whether Joe Biden actually has the inherent powers to do this. And if it gets struck down by the Supreme Court. Then Joe Biden will then campaign against the Supreme Court. I, I did my best, guys. I, I tried to relieve the student Lamanu, and the Supreme Cambodges said that I wasn't a match pal. Yeah, that, that may be what he's doing here, legally speaking. That, that is the only way that I can explain how he purports to do this. According to the Office of Legal Counsel Opinion, explaining how Joe Biden is doing this, what gives Joe Biden the power to simply say that you, a person who took out a student loan, now no longer have to pay that student loan. What gives him the power to do that? Get ready for this. It is the HEROES Act of 2003. Now you're thinking to yourself, what, the, what is the HEROES Act of 2003? I don't even remember that. That's 20 years ago, man. What, what are we talking about? Get fucked. Bitch, you can't talk about the Constitution on the one hand and then be like, oh, this other act was from 2003. That's 20 years ago. 
Okay, what about the Constitution, jackass? The fuck do you mean? You're like, uh huh, dude, dude. These these people will find like an insane law, okay, from like 1843 to be like, well, this is the reason why uh, every Democrat is actually uh, not allowed to vote legally. You know what I mean? In order to in order to find any fucking like judicial reasoning for their psychotic reactionary worldview they will be like well technically um in 1843 uh, uh, a horse would have to kick every democrat before they were able to vote which is why technically right now hypothetically speaking every democrat is illegally voting like you know what i mean they just they use whatever they can but the moment that someone is like oh well a, a 20 year old law was uh, used here that gives the the uh, executive authority over to the president to absolve a uh, student loan debt that's held by the Department of Education regardless, well then, no, you, you can't do that. It's unacceptable. It's not allowed. ...about here. Well, the HEROES Act in 2003, which was passed in the aftermath of 9-11, right? What was that designed to do? It was a, designed to allow the Secretary of Education to waive or modify loans because of a national emergency. Like, say, for example, there was a massive terror attack in the United States, a nuclear attack in the United States. Do you still have to pay off your loan this week? The idea was the Secretary of Education could cancel loans if they had to. Joe Biden is now declaring that because of COVID, he can just cancel the student loans. <laughs> According to the Office of Legal Counsel, quote, we conclude the act grants that authority. The plain text of the HEROES Act authorizes the Secretary to waive or modify any statutory or regulatory provision applicable to the federal student loan program. An authority that encompasses provisions applicable to the repayment of the principal balances of loans, provided certain conditions are met. We conclude that targeting relief toward those individuals who suffered financial hardship because of COVID-19 and who otherwise satisfied the requirements of the act accords with the act's requirement that the waiver or modification be necessary to ensure that student loan recipients affected by a national emergency are not placed in a worse financial position with respect to their loans as a result. Are you kidding me? We have an unemployment rate in this country of less than 4%. College grads have the lowest unemployment rate of any educational subsection of the American population. And your declaration is... Wait... Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, you fucking bozo. That's literally... Look at how mad he is. He's like, get these fucking people to start working at gunpoint. Get them to start working at gunpoint. Not everyone can have a fucking shit-ass podcast like you, you dickhead. Shut the fuck up. He's so mad. Dude, I swear to God, these people would literally advocate for the National Guard to take up arms and, like, force people to go serve them fucking coffee. At Starbucks, okay? That's, I'm telling you, like he, if there was a, if there was a Chamber of Commerce back bill that said like the National Guard is going to use guns to force every unemployed person to like work at the Shake Shack, you know what I mean? They would literally be like, this is a great bill. Why aren't they working? Look how fucking mad he is, dude. 4%. College grads have the lowest unemployment rate of any educational subsection of the American population. And your declaration is that they have a national emergency based on COVID to relieve their student loans? Yeah, I mean, it, you, you admitted it. You know what I mean? College graduates are, are not employed. They can't find meaningful uh, jobs, meaningful wages. Seems like that's a crisis. Maybe it should be solved some way, somehow. I don't know. I'm just saying. Perhaps uh, debt relief could be a good way to, an adequate way to, to free up some of the burden. Hmm. I'm just saying, it seems like a good idea. Which it is a good idea. It's, it's a good idea, by the way. That is the case that you are making legally speaking? Okay, that is obviously specious. It is obviously stupid. And everyone obviously knows that. But Joe Biden's going to do it anyway. Because again, it doesn't matter how you do it, gang. It just matters that you do it. It's all about the power. This is why when you hear Democrats talking about how they're defenders of democracy, explain. Seriously, explain. Explain how it's democracy. The counter argument for me is just literally who cares? Who honestly gives a shit if you're a good person? Why is he so mad about this? It doesn't affect him. Oh, he's mad because Democrats are actually doing something for once. And Republicans have to be mad about anything that the Democrats do. That's the point. It's the song and dance that they play. And he's probably doubly mad because the Democrats actually did something really good that is popular that will genuinely impact 45 million people's lives in a positive way and that probably doubly frustrates him he's mad because he's reactionary 
and Republicans uh, have to react to good uh, Democratic policy, good or bad. He's also doubly mad because this is good. So it, you know, it makes the Democrats look good. That probably pisses him off even fucking further. You know what I'm saying? Chrissy. So if a regulatory authority under the president of the United States simply unilaterally declare that he can relieve debt. And by relieving debt, by the way, it doesn't mean debt disappears. It means you pay it. I pay it. My no, kids. that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Just like the PPP loans. Shut the fuck up. Just like the PPP loans. Just like the PPP loans. Just like the PPP loans. One trillion dollars in PPP loans were relieved. That's not true. Kids pay it. That's what it means. Because the fiscal cost on this thing is extraordinary. We'll get to more on this in just one second. First, how did you choose which internet service provider to use? Well, the sad thing is pretty much no one has a choice because ISPs operate like monopolies in the regions they serve. And then use that monopoly power. Shut the fuck up. You fucking hate. You love monopolies. Praying particularly, praying particularly on a variety of issues here. And Shapiro show, get three extra months for free. Hey, you uh, love monopolies. Get, I, I want to get to the fiscal cost, but I'm trying to break this down into a variety of issues here. The constitutionality, it does not exist. What it does for the college system, it subsidizes a crap scam system that is predicated on preying particularly on people in poor areas who are getting degrees from institutions and universities that do not benefit them. And then you get to the question, let's get to the fairness question here because Democrats keep saying that it's fair. So this is an amazing thing. Joe Biden was asked yesterday, how is it fair for people who never went to college to subsidize those who did how is it fair for people who paid off their student debt to subsidize people who did not pay off their student debt? How is that fair? That's not how this works. I mean, by the way, that's you not how this works. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. But that is how it should work. Taxes should pay for state education. It does to a certain degree, as a matter of fact. You could make this argument against state schools getting fucking taxes. You could make this argument against hospitals taking advantage of, of Budget allocation specifically designed for hospitals. I never use the hospital. Why am I a person who never uses the hospital because I'm never sick paying for some taxes that end up going to the hospital? Why am I a person who, uh, whose house has never caught on fire because I'm very responsible paying for a fire department? This is a fundamentally anti-tax libertarian position. He is not a libertarian, by the way. He loves the military. He loves giving $38 billion to Israel. So you know that. Taxes already pay for a certain part of uh, the, the, the cost of education, both regardless of whether or not you're fucking homeschooling your children or not, regardless of whether you're fucking homesteading or not, okay? Taxes pay for education. It subsidizes education, even if you're using it or even if you're not using it, okay? That's number one. Number two, they should already pay and do pay to a certain degree, or at least subsidize to a certain degree, the cost of state schools, not enough because state school costs are incredibly fucking high in America, uh, hyper-capitalist dystopia, okay? And lastly, the, the, um, the subsidization, rather, the, the debt, the student loan debt release, uh, the, student don't, the student loan debt relief is not being subsidized by people who didn't go to college. That's bullshit. He's making it up. It's debt that the government already had. And it's dead that the government has every right and responsibility to fucking relieve if they want to. Okay? To ask this question about people who don't pay off their credit card debt. If Joe Biden really wanted to relieve everybody's pressure these days. Why By the way, no matter what I'm covering, I could be covering like student loan debt relief. I could be covering the fucking Ukrainian war. I could be covering anything on the fucking planet. The moment that there's like food here, chat becomes this like insane parasocial demon. This collective hive mind that absolutely loses their shit. They're like, ooh, you're eating chips. What kind of chips are you eating? Are you losing weight? Oh, those are the weight loss chips. Tell me more about the same food that you eat every fucking day. Oh, my God. Like, calm the fuck down, guys. Holy shit, I eat it literally the same fucking day. It's the same thing at the same time. Every fucking day, I eat the same food. Please stop being fucking parasocial for once. God damn it. It's the same Chipotle salad I have every fucking day. Why doesn't he just cancel all credit card debt? After all, they have trillions of dollars in outstanding credit card debt in the United States. Why not just do that? After all, money magically grows on trees. And as we know, the fairest thing is for you to take out irresponsible debt and then for your neighbor to pay it. The fairest thing is for predatory lenders to prey on people to go to the local hairdressing salon for a quote unquote university course and then for you to bail them out. That, that's the fairest thing, probably. Here's Joe Biden trying to answer why any of this is fair when it obviously is not. Mr. President, is this unfair 
are the people who paid their student loans or chose not to take out loans? Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own multi-billion dollar businesses to see why these guys get them all a tax Is that fair? Is it fair that some ostriches can't fly? That's not what he said. He actually provided a pretty adequate retort. Yes, he's old. Yes, he's old. Okay? That part is true. Yes, his brain is broken. But he actually, that was a really good fucking counter. Suck me, Ben. The one time that this decrepit, wasting fucking corpse was able to adequately provide a counter with a decent answer, and you're just going, his voice. Is that fair? Is it fair that iguanas freeze and fall out of the trees in wintertime in Florida? Is that fair? What's fair, man? What's fair? What? He's asked a very specific question. Why is it fair for people who paid off their loans to now pay everybody else's loans? And his answer is multi-billion dollar businesses or some such nonsense. What? The hell does that you have to do? You heard what he said. He directly said, what about the fucking PPP loans? Suck my cock. He literally directly said... And you heard him say it, and every American heard him say, why are you bent out of shape about people making less than $75,000 a fucking year getting 10 k in their student loans relieved when you weren't so bent when multi-million, billion-dollar corporations got trillions, uh, one trillion in fucking loans that the federal government forgave in the form of PPP loans. Shut the fuck up. I say 75K because like 90% of those people that are receiving those loans, okay, 90% of those people receiving those loans are in the 75K metric, okay? I don't like the fucking 125K, 125K fucking number. That's like literally less than 10%. Shut the fuck up. On the PPP side, that makes sense. There's also a whopping multiple trillion dollar tax cut that multi, uh, that, that gigantic corporations got as well. Okay. Do with the price of tea in China. What are you even talking about, dude? It's just nonsensical gobbledygook it's from a person nonsense. whose face hole doesn't work right. It's unreal. And by the way, it's going to cost you so much. Unbel I mean, we are talking hundreds of billions of dollars. This is the largest single spending initiative. This is so funny. Brother, he adequately pointed something out. You just know that it's a good argument. And you refuse to address it because it's a good argument. It's just, that's what it is. He, this is all he has left now. Now when the Democrats are actually doing something and the thing that they're doing is actually good, now he has no fucking counter. So he just goes, it's gobbledygook. His face hole doesn't work. He's too stupid. Yeah, that's what happens. I thought facts, not feelings, right? I thought facts don't care about your feelings, Ben. It seems like your fucking feelings are hurt, though. Weird. Real fucking weird. Of course, this is the same Ben Shapiro who uh, I ratioed yesterday, thanks to you guys, who said, so it's now the White House's position that if the government forces you to shut down your business and provides you with compensation just to keep people employed, that's the same thing as you failing to pay for college loans you voluntarily undertook. Geniuses. I said, I don't know if you know this, but those were also loans that were forgiven. That's Ben's perspective on it. But he knows that's a bad perspective. He knows... That he would get fucking owned if he brought that up. So he has to go, oh, I don't understand what Biden is saying. It's gobbledygook. Biden. Which I'm sure he will bring up now. President, unilaterally, ever, ever, there has never been an executive action this costly in the history of the United States, what Joe Biden is doing right now. Understand the magnitude of this. You're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars poured in on the basis of Joe Biden's perception of fairness. By the way, this is the kind of garbage that you get from Bernie Sanders, right? I, I don't know, man. War. War is pretty bad. The void of congressional approval, too. An argument I'm sure Ben Shapiro is in, um, in, in favor of, too. You got to love the non sequiturs. And no matter what the question is, Bernie says, is it truly fair that there are some rich people in this country? Is that a fair thing? What the? What? You're paying the rich people. That's what this program does. It gives money to people who have a combined couple income of 250 grand. Are those the poorest among us? So Bernie Sanders tweeted out the average amount of debt forgiveness to businesses receiving PPP. I think you should keep, I think you should stick to being the annoying weasel and leave the bad accents to me, Ben. I'm just saying, especially when you're angrily trying to do an impersonation, it's just so bad. Loans is $95,700.
If we could afford to cancel hundreds of billions in PPP loans to business owners in their time of need, please do not tell me we can't afford to cancel all student debt for 45 billion Americans. So um, a couple of points here. One, PPP was designed to preserve the employment of people who were not allowed to go to work. That's what it was. Second, it was massively inflationary and it lasted way too long. Third, there's an enormous amount of scams inside PPP, enormous amount of monies that went to people who shouldn't have gotten them. And this, by the way, is the typical left-wing line. So they tried to use this on me, believe it or not, on Twitter yesterday. It was unbelievable. So yesterday on Twitter, suddenly I realized I'm trending because of all of this. And I'm like, wait, what, why am I, why? I don't understand. I was barely online yesterday. I was actually on a plane. So what exactly? That one wasn't his, as I correctly pointed out, when people kept bringing it up. And we looked to find his umbrella corporation that may or may not have taken PPP loans, but we couldn't find it. That's why he's bringing it up. Please, what, what, what's going on? Well, it turns out that some idiot schmucks on the left decided that they were going to look up whether I personally had taken PPP loans. And then they tweeted out a screenshot of a person named Ben Shapiro in Los Angeles who had taken $21,000 in PPP loans. Okay, this then appeared in truthorfiction.com, which is a Snopes-like fact-checking website, and the Indy 100, which is the UK Independent, and Uproxx, entire articles about how he's a hypocrite for opposing the relieving of student loan debt because I had taken PPP money. One, no, I didn't, you lying sacks of bleep. I never did. And you morons in the media. I mean, this is repeated all over. All, all the blue checks are tweeting this. Like hundreds of thousands of retweets from various sources. The screenshot itself, if expanded to the right, demonstrated that the person who actually took those loans was in the business of real estate agenting, which as you may have noticed, I'm not a real estate agent. Okay, so it was just a lie. It didn't matter. It had run around the world. It was too late. It was printed in truth or fiction. And I had not denied. Okay. Daily Wire, by the way, also has never. Get fucked, you dork. Never taken PPP loans. Second of all, when Bernie Sanders says that PPP is the same as you taking out a loan. Also, Daily Wire itself never took out a loan, but he does have a, a corporate. Um, there is Daily Wire is under a corporate umbrella. Now, they might not have taken PPP loans regardless. They might not have. That really doesn't change anything. To go major in modern, modern art at the local JUCO, that is not the same thing by any stretch of the imagination. But it's typical Bernie Sanders. So Bernie Sanders tweets that, and then he tweets a little bit more. And so Bernie Sanders' second tweet here, he tweets, if SoFi, a student loan refinancing company, could give its CEO a 92% raise last year, paying him a grand total of $103 million in compensation, and spend $625 billion to put his name on the LA Rams football stadium? Do you know what President Biden can do? Cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, this is so bad. I was going to say, the student loan, the CEO deserves it. I'll student that. I know you've never worked a day in your life, Bernie Sanders. I know you've only, I know you've only worked uh, off of the government dime and stole from others. In the real world, CEOs deserve that kind of pay. The rich deserve to get richer. Um, what? So, number one, I noticed that you bailing out the loans helps companies like SoFi. So there's that. Second, if a private company can do X, the government can do Y, is not an argument. That is a complete non sequitur. If Jeff Bezos can buy himself a private jet, Joe Biden can ride the nuclear weapon to Mars. Like, what? What are you talking about? What are you even? We have a bunch of geriatric daughters running the country who can't even string together basic AB logic. It's insane. This guy is an ideological leader of the Democratic Party. I wish. Okay. What Bernie Sanders is doing here is not, ah, uh, here's the AB logic, you fucking idiot. What he's saying is, Student loan refinancing is an insanely profitable business. So profitable that the fucking CEO can get a 92% raise. And one individual, which would amount to one individual receiving $103 million in compensation. So profitable that they can purchase the LA Rams football stadium for $625 million. That's the Bernie Sanders take here. That it is like a, a profoundly profitable thing that people have very successful businesses launched off of our inadequate structure. 
are inadequate systems that saddle working class individuals with an endless amount of fucking debt simply for becoming more productive members of the American workforce. That's the fucking argument. Ben, you're not that stupid. There's no fucking way he's that stupid. I mean, I think he, he is very stupid, but he's just like purposely being, um, like he's maliciously weaponizing stupidity. Not his stupidity, but the stupidity of his fucking audience. Bernie's not making a, a, a logical argument here. That's not the argument. What are you talking about? What are you even... We have a bunch of geriatric daughters running the country who can't even strip uh, it's not for even a gallon of milk thanks to inflation. Why cannot Joe Biden simply relieve all credit card debt and fought rainbows? Clearly, he has the constitutional... If you, at your local... Oh my God, he's getting like increasingly more anti-Semitic, by the way. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, his Bernie... His Bernie is literally like... His Bernie's like Fiddler on the Roof, you know what I mean? <laughs> His Bernie Sanders is like Steven Crowder doing a, a, a black guy voice. You know what I mean? Like when Steven Crowder tries to do a, when Steven Crowder tries to do an Obama voice and it's literally just Chris Tucker or when he tries to do a Morgan Freeman and it's just Chris Tucker again, like anytime Steven Crowder tries to literally imitate a black person, he only knows like the, the Chris Tucker voice for, for Ben Shapiro, his Bernie Sanders is like slowly turning into fiddler on the roof local gas station are able to charge five dollars for a gallon of gas no he's not doing a racist chinese accent dude he's doing japanese bernie sanders famous nick mullen character no dude he's trying to do like i'm telling you he's trying to do like a i'm telling you he's doing like a fiddler on the roof type thing it do, it is coming across like he's doing a, a like a mandarin but he's trying to do like yiddish charge you slightly more for a gallon of milk thanks to inflation why <laughs> but it is turning into Mandarin. This is so funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Cannot Joe Biden simply relieve all credit card debt and fought rainbows? I don't want to do it because I, I have, I, I don't have, my Asian audience, the my percentage is really, really low. Okay. So I'm not trying to fuck that up right now. Clearly, he has the constitutional, if you at your local gas station are able to charge $5 for a gallon of gas? Well, then Joe Biden can mandate that everyone simply use horse manure to power their cars forever. Asian here, don't do it. Fuck, I was waiting for one Asian chatter to be like, do it. Do it, pussy. Obviously. Hey. Bro, I am not giving you the car for this. You don't want me to do an Asian Bernie Sanders, like Mandarin, a Mandarin Bernie Sanders? Like, I, I, I do the Japanese one all the time, but I'm trying to do like a like Mandarin Bernie. <laughs> This is why you pick Valorant? Yeah, no, I'm Asian. Asian here, do it, pussy. No, I can't. I don't want to. I'm going to get canceled. The fact I'm going to get canceled. I want to so bad, though. Hold on. I'm going to mute my microphone and do it. Okay. Uh, it, it's actually not good. It, it's actually not good. I, I got it out of my system. I got it out of my system. It's actually not good. I had to hear... I had to hear it. I had to hear myself say it because what do I always say? What do I always say? If you're going to do an accent of people who have like been historically colonized, you have to do it well. You have to do it well or else it's racist and I can't do it well. So I'm not going to do it. The fact that this is considered an intelligent human being on the left demonstrates how unintelligent our political discourse is because this is a basic, basic, stupid nonsense. It's nonsense. It's fairness though. It's fairness. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Ben Shapiro show. No, we didn't.